Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yeah, I like to thank you guys for subscribing. I like to thank you guys for watching my videos, for liking, for subscribing, and uh, for commenting. Yeah, for sure, it is it is a blessing, and uh, we are getting to, we are getting to learn a lot in the process as we go by. So today, as I, I do love nature, that's why I'm here, I'm just seated here, just relaxing, having a cool breeze outside. And I decided let me talk about this something very important. Uh, today I'd like to talk about what international students are going to experience once they get here. Yeah, it is something, it's a first experience that uh, is always very tough and uh, most people always don't know. You just think that once you come here, you always think, what am I going to do? What are the things that I'm going to do for me to settle down and be able to catch up well, yeah, even with other students? Yeah, so the things that you need to expect is what I'm going to talk about today. And the first thing after you've landed here, yeah, other schools will require you to do, to do maybe, other schools will require you to do quarantine, yeah, due to the pandemic. Other schools will just wanna see if you are your COVID certificate, if you're negative, yeah, some schools will just test you once you get here. Some other schools, yeah, things are, things are different depending on the school. So once you've settled down, you've been shown where we're going to live, you've been welcomed, there are some things that now will follow. Yeah, and the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to be required to register for classes. This is something very important that you need to know. As you come here, you have to register for classes. And these classes, you will be given an academic advisor. Yeah, that is a secret. That is something you need to be happy about. You'll be given an academic advisor, a professor or maybe an instructor who has experience in that field, yeah, which you are going to study, who is going to guide you on what you are going to, to do that semester. He's the one who is going to guide you all along way till you graduate. Yeah, so that is something of great advantage once you get here. You, once you'll be registering, the advisor will tell you, I want you to do this course. I want you to have basics on this unit. I want you to do this and that. And uh, if maybe you are coming to study in a community college, yeah, you know, there are some units you will have to do. There are some units that will be compulsory for you to do them so that you'll be able to transfer your credits to, to your university. So your academic advisor will be there to guide you, to show you what you're supposed to do and uh, everything yeah, to guide you all a long way in the process. So once you are set for that your academic advisor now will guide you and uh, as an international student you need to know you have to do 12 credits yeah when i say 12 credits yeah in most cases one you one 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 unit you'll have to do a minimum of three credit hours every week so if you are doing four for example four units you'll do you'll do a maximum of 12 a maximum of 12 credits yeah so you see as you will be registering for your classes you'll have to do four units and above yeah so and to be on the safe side it's always advisable for you to do at least 16 credits or maybe 15 so that in the process as you will be going all a long way in the semester you might find a unit maybe you are failing or maybe you are not in good terms with your instructor and all that yeah in that unit you will for you not to for it not to affect your final GPA, it will be safe for you to drop it. And if you drop it, you'll still remain in 12 credits. So as, as, as you'll be doing that, make sure at least you do 12 credits and above so that you'll be in a position. If you one unit is dropped, you still be on status because you need to understand that as an international student, you have to maintain 12 credit hours each and every semester. If you get below that, you'll be out of status and uh, you might find yourself being deported back to your to your country. So this, this is something you have to put in consideration. Another thing is that as you'll be registering for your classes, make sure your academic advisor guides you very well. Don't end up doing some units that at the time you'll be wanting to transfer to get to your university, it will be a challenge for you. So ensure that you get to do units that will put you in a, in a good position the times you'll be transferring you'll have done all the necessary units like for example nursing there are some units like human anatomy and physiology microbiology 
uh, nutrition, uh, maths, yeah, you also English. Yeah, you need those most mo, those are some of the units you la, you you'll be required to have done them. You love you will be required to have got the basics. Yeah, you know this is something that will enable you as you'll be transiting to the university. For those people who will be coming to study to universities directly, make sure you get to register your units well and your academic advisor will be there for you always to guide you in the process. So another thing you need to put in mind as you will be as you will be organizing yourself and as you will be preparing yourself all a long way, yeah, you need to put in mind that uh, uh, once your units are set, you will now go for an orientation. Yeah, the school will organize an orientation program for you. And in this case, the orientation program, you will be shown yeah, what uh, maybe the, what, what, the entire school, yeah, you will be told about yeah, the people who are in charge to ensure if maybe you get a challenge in this and this case, maybe in certain fields, there are the people you will address. You'll be able to meet also with your international yeah, admission counselor. You'll be able to meet with the school president. Yeah, this can be done both either online or in person, depending on the school you are in and maybe the situation you are in. So this is something that you need to expect as you will be, as you will be beginning your process. You'll have to undergo an, ori an orientation. And in some schools, orientation are compulsory. If you miss them, you'll find yourself maybe yeah in some in some problems here and there but it is very essential for you to attend an orientation program yeah another thing that uh you will be able to to meet all a, all a long way is that you will be able to be introduced to modules yeah modules is uh is a program yeah that once you've created an account using the student email you'll be given a student email which will be able to create an account in the school website yeah now you will be able to log in and now you'll get your own account where you'll find out your module you'll find the details about your classes about your instructors you'll find details even at the time you'll want to look at your results you'll find also your results there yeah so it is a channel module is a channel that you'll be able to to guide you all along way in your study program and in most cases in that in that uh, particular in that particular module, you will find everything you will need in your journey of your studies. Yeah, if it is the lecturer's email, you will find it there. If it is the phone number of your lecturer, if it is the timetable, it will be all there. It will be right there. So, at the module, you will need to have gone through it. Yeah, I know most schools here here in America do use modules. Yeah, so you will be introduced to it. You will be checking on it. You will be able. The assignments will be there. Yeah, in most cases, uh, the first week, the first week as a student, ex expect to get a lot of assignments because they will wish to know that you're really in school by giving you these as, as, uh, these these assignments. And if you miss, uh, if you miss doing these assignments, yeah, you'll find the lecturer. The lecturer can drop you. Yeah, the lecturer can assume you're not in school. Yeah, so these assignments, you'll be able to find them there. Yeah, because nowadays, most of the things are done online. So due to the pandemic, it has brought so many things to be done online. Exams, you'll find them online. Yeah, so be on checkout. Yeah, depending on the system your school uses, yeah, you'll be required to, to be observing it so that uh, you'll be in a position to not to be kicked out from your, from your class. So that's something very, very, very important for you, for you to know as you be coming to, to America. Another thing that, uh, yeah, you'll be able to experience all along way is that, uh, for example, maybe if you're under uh, maybe athletic scholarship, you'll be required to meet with your coach. Yeah, your coach will give you the athletic program. Yeah, the athletic program is what will be able to guide you all along way. It will, it will be a program that will show everything that you'll be able to do all throughout the, all throughout that season. Yeah, so you need to be very in very close contact with your lecturer, with with your with your coach, who is going to guide you, because 
If it is an athletic scholarship, you will have to represent a school because they will be paying for you some part of the school fees or maybe the entire amount. So that is something you need to put in consideration. You will work closely with your coach. Yeah, your, the program's coach need to go hand in hand with your program. Yeah, you don't have, you need to be very keen. You don't need to mess up with your coach because if you mess up with your coach, you might find yourself being dropped out of the, out of the team. And if you are dropped out, yeah, this will bring you a lot of challenges and a lot of problems because if your scholarship goes away, it will be a great challenge for you in raising the, the remaining fee. So that is something you need to put in, into consideration as you as you will be coming here. If you are coming maybe to pay for your own self, the school fees, yeah, you need to have a good sponsor who will support you. Yeah, in most cases, the school will have on-campus jobs yeah, those are the things you'll be able to apply for. Like myself right now, I'm, I'm working on applying for those on-campus jobs. Yeah, by on-campus jobs, you'll be able to get a social security number. After getting a social security number, at least it can enable you to get a driver's license. Yeah, because here most of the things you need to have a vehicle, maybe a car that you need to use to move all around from school to your hostel, maybe to to Walmart, whichever place you want to be, so you need to have a license. So these are the things you will uh, you need, you will, you really need to to have all a long way in the process. And uh, it's not a hard process. Yeah, the advantage of of, of studying here is that you'll be able to you'll be able to be guided in each and every process. If you get closer to your to your instructors and your professors, they'll be able to guide you. They'll be able to tell you everything that is required of you, and you'll automatically get to be successful if it is anything that entails yeah any other field yeah the, the coach will be there to guide you if you are not under athletic scholarship you can find the person in charge of student success yeah you can talk to international admission advisor those are the people that they are the ones who will be able to guide you all along way in the process so you really need to be closer to them you really need to talk to them and they're the people who will ensure that your success rate in America gets to be very, very successful. So guys, that is what I wanted you to share with you today. Once you get here, number one, I said, you'll have to register for your classes. You'll have to undergo orientation. Another thing, you'll have to do to check in on your module. And all this will have to have a computer. So in most cases, some, some schools give students computers some you'll be required to buy your own computer so it all depends with the situation that you are in so you need to to put that in mind you're not just coming to america to relax you're coming to study you are coming to work yeah work specifically in your education because as a student you are not eligible to work outside yeah you are supposed to study you are supposed to be with jobs you'll just get on campus jobs and as you go a long way, if maybe you are doing nursing, yeah, once you get, yeah, once you finish your studies, yeah, you can find a good employer who can be able to, to assist you in getting maybe a work, a work visa or maybe a green card. If you are doing an IT course, yeah, there are these STEM courses that, are, that, that will be able to put you in a good position to find employers who will file for you the papers. Yeah, so those are the things you will learn as you go by. But first things first, work on everything yeah if you're out there still trying to find a school trying to prepare yourself for the embassy work work, work with great effort yeah just believe in yourself just trust in yourself just trust the process it takes time it takes a lot of patience but once you get here things will be easier for you it will be easier for you moving all around and yeah and, uh, and settling down and at the end of it all you'll be successful. So thank you guys. Keep on subscribing. Keep on liking my videos. I'll be bringing you more content and uh, more more lessons that you'll be able to learn all along my process. So thank you guys. Be blessed. See you.